Maharaja Sanskrit Maharaja also spelled Maharaja Moharaja Moharaja is a Sanskrit title for a great ruler great king or high king a few ruled mighty states informally called empires including Jat ruler Maharaja Ranjit Singh founder of the Sikh empire and Maharaja Sri Gupta founder of the ancient Indian Gupta empire but title inflation soon led to most being rather mediocre or even petty in real power while compound titles were among the attempts to distinguish some among their ranks the female equivalent, Maharani or Maharani, Moharani, Maharajni, Maharajan, denotes either the wife of a Maharaja or Maharana etc., and also in states where that was customary, a woman ruling without a husband. The widow of a Maharaja is known as a Rajmata, queen mother. Maharaja Kumar generally denotes a son of a Maharaja, but more specific titulatures are often used at each court, including Uvaraja for the heir. The form Maharaj indicates a separation of noble and religious offices, although the fact that in Hindi the suffix a is silent makes the two titles near homophones. Etymology The word Maharaja originates in Sanskrit and is a compound Karmadaraya term from Mahant great, and Rajan ruler, king. It has the Latin cognates magnum, great, and rex, king. Due to Sanskrit's major influence on the vocabulary of most languages in Greater India, the term Maharaja is common to many modern languages of India such as Kannada, Tamil, Hindi, Marathi, Rajasthani, Malvi, Telugu, Odia, Punjabi, Bengali, Silheti and Gujarati. The Sanskrit title Maharaja was originally used only for rulers who ruled a considerably large region with minor tributary rulers under them. Since medieval times, the title was used by Hindu monarchs of lesser states claiming descent from ancient Maharajas. <laughs> Indian subcontinent Topic. Maharaja as a ruler's title On the eve of independence in 1947, India including present-day Pakistan and Bangladesh contained more than 600 princely states, each with its own native ruler, often styled Raja or Rana or Thakur if the ruler were Hindu or Nawab if he were Muslim, with a host of less current titles as well. The British directly ruled two-thirds of India, the rest was under indirect rule by the above-mentioned princes under the considerable influence of British representatives, such as residents, at their courts. The word Maharaja may be understood simply to mean ruler or king, in spite of its literal translation as great king. This was because only a handful of the states were truly powerful and wealthy enough for their rulers to be considered great monarchs, the remaining were minor princely states, sometimes little more than towns or groups of villages. The word, however, can also mean emperor in contemporary Indian usage. The title of Maharaja was not as common before the gradual British colonization of India, upon and after which many Rajas and otherwise styled Hindu rulers were elevated to Maharajas, regardless of the fact that scores of these new Maharajas ruled small states, sometimes for some reason unrelated to the eminence of the state, for example, support to the British in Afghanistan, World War I or World War II. Two Rajas who became Maharajas in the 20th century were the Maharaja of Cochin and the legendary Maharaja Jagatjit Singh of Kapurtala. Variations of this title include the following, each combining Maha great", with an alternative form of Raja king", so all meaning great king", Maharana as in Udaipur, Maharawal as in Dungarpur, Jaisalmer, Maharawit Pratapgar, Maharao as in Kota, Bundi and Maharal as in Beria. Maharaja has taken on new spellings due to the time change and migration. It has even been shortened to Maharaj and Maharaj but the most common is Maharaja and Maharaj. Despite its literal meaning, unlike many other titles meaning great king, neither Maharaja nor Rajadiraja king of kings, nor even its equivalent amongst. Maharaja, Maharajadiraja, never reached the standing required for imperial rank, as each was soon the object of title inflation. 
Instead, the Hindu title which is commonly rendered as emperor is Samrat or Samraj a, a personal distinction achieved by a few rulers of ancient dynasties such as the Mauryas and Guptas. The Muslim equivalent of emperor would be Padshah of Persian origin, notably applied to the Mughal dynasty, the paramount power until the British established their Raj. Topic: <laughs> Compound and dynastic ruler titles. Dharma Maharaja was the devout title compare Rajadharma of the rulers of the Ganga dynasty in the Mughal empire it was quite common to award to various princes hereditary or not a series of lofty titles as a matter of protocolary rank the british would as paramount power do the same many of these see also above elaborate explicitly on the title maharaja in the following descending order Maharajadiraja Bahadur or Maharajadiraj Bahadur, great prince over princes, a title of honor, one degree higher than Maharajadiraja. Maharajadiraja or Maharajadiraj, great prince over princes, a title of honor, one degree higher than Sawai Maharaja Bahadur. Sawai Maharaja Bahadur, a title of honor, one degree higher than Sawai Maharaja. The term Bahadur, originally brave in Mongolian, was often used for one degree higher, and Sawai is one and a quarter higher, i.e., just a step above Bahadur. Sawai Maharaja, a title of honor one degree higher than Maharaja Bahadur, as granted directly to the Rajas of Ajagar. Maharaja Bahadur, a title of honor, one degree higher than Maharaja. Maharaja itself could also be granted as a personal, non hereditary style, e.g., in 1941 to Sir Pratap Singh II, Raja of Ali Rajpur. Furthermore, there were various compound titles simply including other princely styles, such as Maharaja Chhatrapati in Sitara, the paramount state of the Maratha Confederacy, H. H. the Maharaj Rana of Halawar. Maharaja I Rajgan, Great Prince Amongst Princes Maharaja Sena Sahib Subha of Nagpur, another Maratha state Maharaj Babu, a Rajput title similar to Maharaja, used by the ruling chiefs of Hazari state, Dohazari of South Chittagong, for details concerning various titles containing Sahib, see Thari certain Hindu dynasties even came to use a unique style, including a term which is such as not of princely rank, e.g. Maharaja Gaiwar of Baroda, Maharaja Sindhya of Gwalior, Maharaja Holkar of Indore, three of the very highest ranking ruling Maratha houses. Nobiliary and honorary use Like Raja and various other titles, Maharaja was repeatedly awarded to notables without a princely state, such as Zamindars. One Raja of Lambagran, a Jagar in Himachal Pradesh who served in the colonial army was granted personally the non-hereditary title of Maharaja of Kangra Lambagran and a personal eleven guns salute, so neither honour passed on to his son and heir. In the major, Muslim realm of Hyderabad and Berar, there was a system of ennobling titles for the Nizam's courtiers, conferring a specific rank without any e state of their own, not unlike peerage titles without an actual fief in the UK, the highest titles for Hindu nobles being Maharaja Bahadur and Maharaja, above Vant, Raja Rai I Rai and Bahadur, Raja Rai Bahadur, Raja Bahadur, Raja and Rai. For their Muslim counterparts, there were alternative titles, the highest being Jaw and Umara, e.g., the Dewan. Prime Minister Maharaja Sir Kishan Prashad, held such a Maharaja title. <laughs> Derived style for princes of the blood Maharaj Kumar or Maharaj Kumar means son of a Maharaja or heir apparent, the female equivalent is Maharaj Kumari, Maharaj Kumari daughter of a Maharaja. Nepal The Gurkha kings of Nepal now a republic used the title of Maharajadiraja which was sovereign among great kings, a title of honor, a degree higher than Maharaja. Rana prime ministers of Nepal used the title of Shri Teen Maharaja. <laughs> Malay archipelago Indonesia 
As many Indonesian states started out when the archipelago was still predominantly Hindu Bali still is, or Buddhist, some have been ruled by a Maharaja, such as Srivijaya, Majapahit and Kutai Karta Negara until that kingdom converted to Islam in 1565, when the Muslim title of Sultan was adopted. Traditional titles remain in use for the other members of this dynasty, such as Panjaran Ratu for the heir. Maharaja was also part of the titles of the nobility in the Sumatran Sultanate of Aceh. In the past the title of Maharaja is given to leader of the unreigning noble family and the Prime Minister Maharaja Mankubumi. The last Prime Minister of Aceh who was installed to be the Maharaja Mankubumi, Habib Abdurrahman El Zahir, also acted as the Foreign Affairs Minister of Aceh but was deposed and exiled to Jeddah by the colonial Dutch East Indies authorities in October 1878. The name Maharaja may also append one as a successor sultan. <inaudible> Malaysia In Peninsular Malaysia Maharaja was the title of the monarch of the Peninsular Malay state of Johor from 1873 to 1885. The Arabic, Muslim title sultan, often considered of higher rank, was re-adopted later and remains in current usage. The title Bendahara Seri Maharaja was used by the ruler of Pahang in personal union with Johor, eventually becoming a fief of the Bendahara family, till on 6 August 1882 Tuanku Ahmad al-Muadzam Shah Ibni al-Marham Tun Ali adopted the title, Sultan, in northern Borneo. The title Maharaja of Sabah and Raja of Gaya and Sandakan was used from 29 December 1877 to 26 August 1887. 1881 by Baron von Overbeck compare White Raja, the Englishman capped. James Brooke was declared as Raja Brooke by the Sultan of Brunei for his role in pacifying the Sarawak revolt against the Sultan during the Raffles stint. The word Raja derived from the word Maharaja. In 1842, the Sultan of Brunei ceded Sarawak to Raja Brooke who founded the Kingdom of Sarawak and a line of dynastic monarchs known as the White Rajas. In contemporary Malay usage, the title Maharaja refers to an emperor, e.g., Maharaja Jepan, Emperor of Japan. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Brunei. In Seri Malayas of the Srivijaya, under the Srivijaya Satellite Empire of the Majapahit Empire dominated over the whole Malayas far reaching the present Philippine archipelago, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia under the Srivijaya Empire of the Majapahit King Maharaja Pamariwasa. The latter's daughter Eskander was married to an Arab Zian -ul who was a Srivijaya ruler in Seri who were a Srivijaya monarchy. In the 12th century with the fall of the empire, the Seri king being a Muslim established the Sultanate of Brunei in 1363 with the throne name Sultan Muhammad Shah. In 1426, as his death was recorded in 1431 Mount Makatanjus Sulu grave and 1432 Brunei grave as Sulu and Brunei claim the honour of his grave, he also did establish the Sultanate of Sulu while his brother Mokhtam Karim Sharif Kabungsawan of Malabang Lanao, a Srivijaya Johor ruler, later established the Sultanate of Maguindano Ranao Mindanao after taking the political authority of his father-in-law Tomawi Aliwawa of the Maguayandanao family dynasty. A progeny in 1704, Sayyid Nako da Perkasa Anging Maharaja Andan, grandson of the second Brunei Sultan Ahmad, the former married to Mahandan the sister of Mawalil Wasit the 1825 Sulu Sultan Jamalul Kiram I, the latter who bigoted the 1839 Sulu Sultan Palalan. Being childless, Palalan proclaimed his crown prince Maharaja Adinda Top, son of Said Nakoda Perkasa Anging. The title Maharaja Adinda at the beginning of the name to append Sultan. Maharaja Adinda Top, the 1859 Maharaja of the Sulu Sultanate and prince heir apparent of Sultan Palalan at the time. Sulu Sultan Jamalul Kiram I Mawalil Wasit was the 70-year-later descendant of the 1752 three so-called sultans of Mindanao, namely Kiram Sinchuit, Kiram Misuari and Kiram Soranga. The latter in 1752, whereby Mindanao was ceded in inheritance to them by their consanguinity kinship, the noble king Luisung Tejian Talano. And Maharaja Adinda Taup's son was the 1916 Sharif Imam ul Alam Arpa and highest spiritual leader of the Sulus, the latter whom American Governor Frank W. Carpenter returned Sulu's sovereignty as a suzerainty. 
the Sharif promulgating the literacy campaign, building of roads, schools, water system and Jambatan's wharfs as supported by the said American governor, the latter named the said Sharif's son as Carpenter Arpa I placing five silver dollars on the child's chest symbolic of the five Sulu Sultanate territories. Sayyid Paduka Ahmad Carpenter Arpa V is the monarchical chieftain of Maharlika Mindanao and Sulu, as by the facts and proprietary rights as by the 2007 agreement between the Philippine government and the Prince Julian Morden Talano, the progeny of King Luisung Tejian Talano. <laughs> <laughs> Compound Malay titles The word can also be part of titles used by Malay nobility. Maharaja Leela was the title of the ruler of the state of Nanning founded 1641, until it was annexed by the UK to Malacca in 1832. Most famous was Bendahara Seri Maharaja Tun Mudahir of Malacca executed 1509 and Datuk Maharaja Leela Pandak Lam of Perak executed 1876. The Palace Marshal of the Yang di Pertuan Agong head of, state of modern Malaysia is called Datuk Maharaja Lila Panghulu Istana Negara. In the Sulu Sultanate in the Philippines, the Raja Muda Crown Prince is the heir to the throne, the Maharaja Adinda is the second heir apparent and the Maharaja Leila acts as chief of the palace. Eventually, Maharaja Adinda was also used to refer to a particular lineage within the royal families. See also Maha Uparaja Raja M. R. Rai Maharani Laxmi Bai Sources and references <laughs>